Welcome to episode 4 of the Twisted Bow Rebuild. Kodak White here, and if you didn't know already, the goal of this series is to turn this into something that looks a bit more like this. And maybe more. On the last one, we got super lucky and copped two Ranger boots from 250 medium caskets, which left the bank at a succulent 150 mil. The question is, will the luck continue? Wow, General Grador. Okay, I think I only have like one or two KC there, so I'm down. Currently, one KC. If I get the chest plate or task sets this task, that would be insane. I learned the Zami 5-0 method, so now it's time to learn the Bando 6-0 method. This time I don't have to red X, which I like a lot more. I bought myself an Armadillo crossbow and after the Gardor task, I decided to buy the Missouri mask to just try my luck some more at Bandos. So I'm hoping I can flip these for some profit when I decide to sell them. There it is. Oh my god, yes. I am so glad I got this drop. I am so glad. Oh my god. I really just got two. Oh my god. You know, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna... Just gonna head out. That's all I really need. Bandos, I love you. I'm not recording voice here, but I went back to do more bandos to see if this insane luck can continue, and this happens. These are my two logs of Ceridomen and bandos, and um, it's confirmed. Zeliana is a piece of shit. There is all the gear I want for TOA. Got the Fang, Nezzy face guard, full bandos. First TOA, 300 with actual good gear so I can completely get through it every time now. Let's just say this bad boy is better than a Zami Hasta. If my calculations are correct, 4.28, that means a purple. I was going to open all these caskets before I did TOA and then completely forgot after I did the 300. So I got one easy, nine hard, one only, and one master. That is all I'd ever expect from an easy. Okay, room plate skirt G. Okay, and no oh my god, gilded hosta. That is so rare. Uh, okay. Now the one elite and the one master. 65k from an elite. Okay, master. 217k from a master. Okay. This time it's a 310. A little bit more chance of a unique. I think it's time. I don't believe it. Well, this is the one I died on. Still 325. The biggest, the highest one I've completed so far. I still had a higher chance last time, but um, yeah, just uh, just give it to me. Um, maybe a uh, purple? That's a thick chest, though. I'll take it. I died again, but you know what that means. More deaths equal more of a chance of getting a purple, because they feel bad for you. This should definitely be it, right? I swear I didn't die to Akka. I swear that's why I don't have a 4.5. Akka is just way too OP with his ball come phase when I hit zeros all the time, which means I should get a purple. Uh, oh, that's a fatty. This one has to be a purple. It really has to be. I'm begging. Alright, hear me out. A 4.9%? That 
that's almost a 25%. So really, there should be a purple light here. Damn it. Here we go with expert number 16. If I don't get it here, I'm going to... Either way, I'm going to put a time limit because 36 minutes, pretty good. I can put 40 minutes on there. But purple? What am I doing? No, that's rigged. My character doesn't know how to walk to the white light. Well, I didn't make the 40 minutes, so the red level lowered. Because this game's on some bullshit. Bob is on some bullshit, killing me at the end. I deserve a purple, right? That's almost a 420. It is a 420. You just can't see the zero, but 420. To oh. Something's wrong here. Oh my god. A deathless raid. Kind of crazy, right? 5.22 chance. This seems like the one, right? Hmm. Here we go with number 19. Expert number 19. I am begging the Guthics gods. I am begging them. Yep, they never do anything good anyway. Come on, come on. Commander Ziliana, please show me to purple. Number 21. This is a lucky number. This has got to be for the boys at Zamorak. Come on, Zamorak. Come on. Oh. Expert number 22. Please, Mr. General Grador. Please. An elite clue that I got so many TOAs ago, but I was just too lazy to do. Yeah, I see why I didn't want to complete this. First 350. Come on, let me see it. Let me see it. Ah. Oh. Well, no purple, but I do get the Missouri assembler kit thing. Oh, hello there. You need a needle? What the fuck? Currently a beast now. What the fuck just happened? Oh god, I'm so good at this game. This has to be it. Number 24. Yeah, I'm never getting a purple. Expert number 25. I can't go 25 experts without a purple, right? That's kind of like fucked up. Uh, but here, watch this. I, I found out how to get a purple. You just need to mark these tiles. Hit them with the hit them with the dance. Hit them with the with the clap. And I should probably get a purple now. All right, let's see it with that dance clap look. Oh my god, I literally die to the stupidest shit. I know that's my fault, but like, like still. I really just misclicked that hard and died again. Oh my god. Yep. Yep, I quit. I quit forever. Did I just misclick that hard? <laughs> uh. Like, I just keep. Look at those misclicks! Just a reminder to like the video and maybe I will stop misclicking. Also, I have a Discord server. If you want to join, the link is in description. So believe it or not, I took an oath to stop being so shit at this game and dying when I have so many brews in my inventory. 
I know this raid doesn't really show that because I didn't really use any brews, but I should get a purple for, uh, you know, taking that oath. Um, nope. Oh my god. I finally got the Jewel of the Sun. Oh, that is so cute. What did I just do? I was I was about to put my bruise down. Did my brain just explode? Mr. Warden, I know, I know. I said I would stop being shit. I took an oath, but, um, you know. If you give me a purple, I swear it will never happen again. That is so fucked up. Oh my god, I'm really gonna go 30 experts purpleless. Oh my god. So like all the other times, I wasn't really expecting a purple, but now I'm on KC31, so I'm kind of expecting one sometime. Okay, not this time. I'm 100% gonna get a unique from this elite. I barely made the 40 minutes, but I believe the wardens were hacking, so... I'm really just begging for a per- like, really, I'm never gonna get one. Honestly, I believe in manifesting. I will get a purple right here. Yeah, I'm convinced it's broken. Expert number 34. I can't go 34 dry. No. Oh, my last jewel. I got two jewels before I got a purple. I... This is honestly what it's come to. This is my first drunk chest. Number 35, and somehow I almost got a PB. So that's kind of weird, but um, yeah, if I get a purple, then Jagex supports alcoholism, and um, yeah. Fuck. Drunk chest of the night number two. Expert number 36. Would have been cool if this was 3636, 36, but ruined the clip, you know? And the white light just ruined everything. Two jewels, one thread, no purple. I can't believe I just did that. Sober Kodak here with expert number 38. I just found out I'm actually better at this game while drunk, so I'm gonna need to start doing that every night. And, uh, white light, that's sick. Please, game. I can't go 39 dry. 5.3% chance. That's pretty much a purple. Like, I no, no. Expert number 40. So close to a PB. I don't know how, because I had a three down warden, because I am just so good at this game, and I am running. Give me a purple. Hmm. Maybe I've just been fucking up by slowly walking up to it. So maybe if we just run in and look right away, we'll get a purple. Expert number 42. This is my second 350. I tried to get some luck, but um, it's been like three minutes and he hasn't responded. So thanks for that, GL. A 6% chance. I don't see myself not getting a purple, honestly. Another chance at the goodies. Expert number 43 with the white light. I just had to do a 300 and beat my PB. And I remember when I said I would never complete a 300. But if I get a purple now, that's pretty fucked up. So just give me the purple. Come on with that. Surely on KC 45. I thought if I didn't say anything, I'd get the purple, but nope. Expert number 47. Let me guess. White light. I am so smart. Let's see the purple for the death. They feel bad for me. They don't feel bad at all. Expert number 49. 
Let's see this purple. Let's see it. Oh my god. Oh my god, finally. Oh yes. General Grador, I love you. Alright, let's open this. Beg for a staff. Actually, anything but a ring. You know what? Anything. Anything, period. Wait. No, wait. <laughs> Wait, I didn't I didn't really want that. Well, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a collection log first light bearer. Oh god, don't look at that. I got my first purple on KC15 of normal. So, it took 53 normals and 42 experts to get my second purple. Not the worst thing ever, but definitely not good. I had to just do one more to get that 50. I am so excited for this back-to-back. -back. What? The bank at the end of episode 4 is standing at 220 mil, which means a profit of 70 mil this episode. No thanks to the last 14 minutes of this video, but yeah, Bandos took all of my luck away from me for the next 3 years. If you made it to the last 10 seconds of this video, leave a comment with a smiley face and remind me to never grind 50 TOAs to get a purple again.